What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day out there today. Guys, we're going to do another little unboxing and testing of another uh, charger here from GT Power. This one is the 2X Mini. Two-channel intelligent charger. This is a dual LiPo charger. It also do your LiPos, your Lions, your nickel metal hydrides, your NICADs, all that stuff. And uh, we're going to get this thing out of the box, check it out. The only thing different about this one versus the other ones we have done is it is a dual channel, but it will only do up to a 4S. It'll do 2S, 3S, and 4S LiPos. But uh, guys, we're going to get this out of the box, check it out. Hook a few batteries up to it, so stay tuned, guys. All right, we're going to go get this thing out of the box here. I already pulled the power cord out over here to uh, get her hooked up and ready to plug it in there. But uh, all right, guys. Oh, here she is. Nice size, nice and compact. You got both of your charging ports on either side. And for your AC power here, and this one is for if you're going to run your DC power in on this. has a cooling fan on top. And uh, all your controls right here on the front, so let's get this thing plugged in and uh, run through the menu a little bit. All right, well, we got it plugged in here. Also, inside the box, you will also have your instruction manual. You can kind of go through all that, and uh, depending on what kind of batteries and how you're going to hook this thing up, it lets you know. You know, all the information you need here is in your user manual. But guys... Got her powered up here. So as soon as you plug it up, fan kicks on, kind of goes through a little self-test here. And uh, then you can select your battery type, whether you're doing a LiPo, you know, all of them. You can scroll through them and can select which one you want. On here, we're going to do, and you can also save and load data on here, set up user programs um, and settings. But uh, we're going to do LiPo. So now go ahead and select through. This is LiPo fast charge. You can do a balance charge. A balance and a fast charge are the two different uh, on here without a battery hooked up. We're going to get the battery hooked up to it here and see what we get next. So you can select now from 10 amps and on down. So charge up to 10 amps. Hit enter again. And then you can select what you're going to do. So it goes up to 4S, 3S, and 2S. So those are your three options. But uh, let's go ahead and get a battery hooked up this thing and see what it's like. Alrighty, well, we got our 3S LiPo here. This was one of my little 1500 milliamp packs that I was using a lot during the summertime in the uh, the Limitless, doing the speed runs, running the Game Changer fan. So, this one, um, I have two of these packs, and this one, I haven't actually balanced charged this thing for quite some time. So, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do with the charger here now. So, you go ahead now and get through your menus. You have your channel select. So, as you can see, the little light lights up here right beside which channel is selected. So we're going to go ahead and select the left channel, or maybe channel 1. doesn't really specify if it's left or right, or, I'm sorry, channel 1 or channel 2. But <laughs> anyway, select which side you want. Now we're going to go ahead and do a LiPo charge. Hit Enter. And now you can scroll through whether you would do a balance or a fast charge. It only has those two options. There is no normal, um, you know, just a regular charge. It's either a balance or a fast. So we'll go ahead and do a balance. Then you can scroll down to how many amps you want. So we'll go ahead and charge this one at, we'll get on to five amps. Run that at five. And then over here, you can select what what battery kind you're going to, what size. Um, right now it's on 3S. You can do 4S, 3S, or 2S. So yeah, so you do have two, three, or 4S on this. So we'll go ahead and select 3S. Hit the start button. You hold it down again. It does a battery check, make sure all the cells are you know, ready to charge and there's no bad cells or anything. It'll let you know if you know one of the cells have a low voltage or there's an issue with one when they go through the battery check. So it's kind of nice. At least you know you're not throwing the charger on there or throwing a battery on the charger and you know you got a cell that's bad or already overcharged. Um, you know, it'll kind of give you that warning and letting you know. So once it's going to check, you hit enter again. And again, starting a balance charge now. So... Now that it's rolling through here, it shows it's char charging right now at 0 0.09 amps as it goes through. Um, it shows you each voltage of all each cell. Right now we've got 4.20, 4.20, and 4.20. So all of them already are pretty balanced and uh, they're all pretty nicely, you know, ready to go, honestly. But um, fuel equals 100% cell, 4.2 volts. So this battery is... Uh, Shouldn't take too long on the balance feature here because it's mostly charged up already. I had thrown this on the charger once before, but um, guys, really nicely, you can scroll through and see your different cell voltages as they're going. Um, this is live, so they will change if one is lower or higher than the other. But um, very easy to use, nice, uh, easy menu. I think it's already showing that it was uh, balance charged. 
the battery was already charged up and uh, must have already been balanced pretty well. <laughs> Real quickly, I figured I'd just show you the specifications on the side of the box here. You've got your input voltage. You can do 100 to 240 volts. Um, DC 19 to 26 volts. And the charging current is 0 0.1 to 10 amps. Um, and your charging power is max 100 watts. Uh, DC power max is 100, also 100 watts. Um, but these are kind of your specifications here on what it is. And all that information is also in the manual with, that comes with the unit here in the box. But guys, I mean, nice charger. You know, already uh, Trevor has been using the dual balance charger or the dual charger uh, that we did their last uh, little testing review on. And he's been really enjoying it. It's been He's been loving it because he only had a single charger before. And, uh, you know, now that he's got a lot of the 6S cards, he's been having to charge up, you know, two of the 3S packs. And uh, he's really, really enjoying having the dual charger on this thing. And uh, so far, he said it's been working out great. Hasn't had any issues with it. It's been working really well. I'm going to keep this one around and charge up some of my 3S and other ones to, uh, you know, whenever I'm trying to get multiple packs charged up, it's nice to have chargers for sure, to have an extra one around and as a backup. Because last thing you want happening is your charger dying and then... He didn't have to go out and have those fun bash days if you don't have any charged batteries. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's going to wrap up the video on the GT Power 2X Mini uh, Intelligent Charger. Guys, if you guys are looking for a new charger or maybe a second one, go check them out. So far, I've been really happy with these ones. Really enjoying that uh, single charger with the Smart App. That's been a really nice feature on that one. It's been really cool. Trevor's really enjoying that dual charger, and he's been charging away on his batteries because we finally got to get out and do some bashes over the last few days so it's been a lot of fun but guys i want to send a big thank you to gt power for sending these out it's been fun getting to check these things out and uh you know do some unboxings and testings on these things so big thank you to gt power guys if you're looking for one go check them out the link will be down in the description but that is going to do it for the video today guys so till next time y'all be safe be careful out there peace out everybody